Hi peeps, Kara Sophia here in my squeaky chair. And this is Vanilla High, the public server that I play on. And in fact, I have been spending so much time here lately that I'm going to do some recording. And so I need to give you guys kind of an introduction to my base. There's quite a bit already built here. I've been in this location, I think over a year. And it hasn't just been me. <clears throat> there have been several people playing at this site with me. This is primarily my base right here. Um, I've had a couple of other players helping, particularly Amethyst helped a lot with the dwellings in the cliff side. And currently, I have several people playing in the neighborhood that have got nearby bases, which is really fun because there's always stuff going on. But I want to show you. So this is Karis Cavern. I have no idea why I named it that, except it was in the ground and there was some alliteration and it seemed appropriate. So let's give the grand tour. This is the main room. I don't know why I call it the main room because I'm very seldom in this room for anything anymore. It has, ooh, I got a vote cookie from Movie G. I shall have to thank them when I turn a uh, chat back on. It has some of just sort of the miscellaneous type storage stuff up here that stuff's ready and handy. I used to have my spawn bed right here. Currently, it's mostly sort of a thoroughfare. I can get outside here and around to the apothecary. This is my apothecary garden. All sorts of things to stock. Well, and my snowman. Hey, snowman. All sorts of things to stock my apothecary for all my potion needs. I did briefly have a cleric in here. For some reason, he never actually claimed either of these brewing stands. And I don't know why, if it was because of the water underneath or I don't, don't know what. He disappeared. I don't know if he respawned or what. Just downstairs is my main storage room. And as you can see, I've got primarily colored coded shulker boxes and underneath I have <laughs> somebody has organized um, and the extra shulkers of, of overflow for large volume items goes down below. Miscellaneous colored blocks, stone type things, wood type things, a few utility blocks. Over here I have, I have like four layers of, oop, I keep doing that, that's a stuff bus. Um, of nether wart, I have about four layers of farms like that. I have a friend who was building a, a big castle made out of nether bricks and red nether bricks and all, and so I was mass producing, I was mass producing it for a while. You can see I've got, you know, layer after layer. After where I got lots of the stuff. I also have this. Is, so I have a few of the farms that of things that I particularly wanted or needed are in here. This is my kelp farm. Um, I have two sides to the kelp farm. A little bit of sugar cane. Uh, oops, I went past. I have my cactus farm tucked right in there. I didn't go all out on the farms. I just very recently harvested there and my cocoa. Um, so it was just things that I just, mostly things I needed. I wasn't geared up to do anything for sale. And Chorus, because my friend McLaurin wanted a bunch of purper, so he was a little surprised, I think, at how fast I generated enough purper for him. And this, oh, actually, I don't want to go. All right, I'll let it go off. That goes off to McLaurin's base. You can see. Hi, minecart. There it goes. 
this dugout area is just dug out just because I dig. Yep, I dig. This goes back up to the uh, area we just were at. Um, actually, that's just as good a way to go as any. There's some mining in there, miscellaneous mining stuff. And you can see we're back up out front. So a few animals. The crops up there are mostly to provide food for these animals. The area... Something... Oh yeah, we're going to need to close up. We're working on building automated farms inside that bluff. And we can see it cuts through there. These potsil areas are where I, you know, plant a bunch of trees to grow trees. Anytime I need wood for all of my wood needs. And this just comes back up to main entrance where we started. But coming back through here, and there's nooks and crannies you can get in and everywhere from everywhere. Like, for example, we can go through here, takes us to the aquarium, and back out to the tree cutting place. And we can come around here, go underwater, and end up in the lounge. And the lounge comes back through to the main storage room. Ta-da! You can get anywhere from anywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to save that. So then some of the uh, other areas. We have the apothecary there, which we saw. And then just upstairs from the apothecary is the guest rooms, which I actually currently have my bed. Hey, bed. Just to make sure I don't get any fandoms. <clears throat> And people stay here until they build their own place, and then they, they move on. Um, Orama Red and Snowman both have spots here. Thunderscape, I noticed, took hers down. She built this delightful little mushroom garden for her base. Isn't this cute? And she just sort of tucked it in the backside here. This is just so cute. I love this little garden. I think it's so cool she built this here. So she moved out of her apartment because she has her house up in the cap of the mushroom. And then, actually, I should fly. Oh, let's see if I can take off. My problem on Lifecraft is that I have trouble taking off. My problem on Vanilla High is it's too easy to take off. Oh, anyway, so upstairs here, do I crash? I do crash. But I, oof, 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 I say. See what you mean about going flying too easily? Um, anyways, this part, this gets up into the decorative areas of my base, where I've got my lighthouse here, which I can survey. The, the render distance is very short on this server. It's a very large public server, and for, um, uh, for performance reasons, let's see, FYI. For performance reasons, we have it set pretty close. So you can kind of see the inner harbor. And we built, I feel so terribly, I have forgotten which player it was who started the garden areas over there. Oh, it was somebody I'd played with for a while, and he wasn't here at my base area very long. I remember that. Oh, I wish I could credit him for his work. So then I built my dock area here for my airships. And we have a nice little library here. Oop, dun, dun, dun. And that goes up to the uh, light tower, lighthouse. And that one goes down to the apartments and the main cavern. But for right now, I'm going to go across over here. <sighs> Ooh, there's only one turtle here at the moment. Where's your buddy? For some reason, there's usually two turtles up here. I don't know why. I keep trying to shoo them off. <clears throat> so we have sort of a main lounge area, sort of for the takeoff 
area for the airships. There's a little dock in here. And we have managed to strip that piece of wood, apparently. And upstairs here, there's interior access into the Warrens over here. I'm not going to... Uh, there are nooks and crannies and hallways and little apartments and things all over inside of this. Oops, yeah, can't get there from here. All over inside of here, and there's stairways and elevators and hidden nooks. And I cannot find my way around in here. I really, I, I can't. I know that the different hallways have different colors. I know that... Oh, hey, here's here. Here's this one with a garden. And then there's the port defense. And then up there is a dock area, a dock area for repairs for ships. But I don't know how to get there when I try. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get us out the back side here. Oh, yes, I should eat. More stairs, more elevators, more elevators, uh, more stairs. Where does this go? Nope, I'm not where I thought I was. Well, that's nothing new. The clock tower. Cool. But you can't... The, the clock tower is really cool. I mean, it's all decorative inside, but it has guts. You know, it has... Um, oh, more of a clucker. See, it has mechanical guts. Doesn't actually do anything, but it looks really cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, I accidentally found my way out to where the control tower is. Neat. <laughs> One light different from the others. I am going to try to take off here somewhere. Let's see if I can fly without crashing into anything. Hey, I did it. So we have the control tower with the helipad and an empty dock and another airship. And you can kind of see as I fly around... Okay, that's the central lounge area again. You can kind of see, you know, there's all sorts of apartments and buildings and stuff tucked in various places that I really don't know how to get to. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that bridge was there. Okay. Good. It, I actually, I, I know I sound kind of odd, but I really enjoy having a base and being around an area where I don't even know where everything is. There's just so much around. I don't need to have that cookie here. And I have my little bee hut with auto harvesters, except this side, this one doesn't really work. The honey one doesn't work. You can see the honeycomb one works just fine. I don't know. But, so this was all just to disguise the redstone, but since I was making a little hut, you know, I had to kit it out. And it's a cute little house. Yeah. So this is, this is Karis Cavern, my main base. And now I'm actually going to take us down to, you know, that hole we saw in the bluff over there? And I'm going to show you how we get there from inside. All right, where am I? Oh, I'm over here. <clears throat> so this way I go to get down into the lounge room again. And from here, I'm going to take this really ugly tunnel that I am going to remake to make it both pretty and flyable. I think this will probably be my second project in this series. The first project in the series is going to be over there. So this is where McLaurin is working currently. Um, kind of a communal farm area. We're doing a bunch of automated farms of various sorts. I wonder, did he manage to cure his villagers? He let zombies into his villager area. Yes, he did. He cured them all. 
Oh, fun. Hmm, I'm going to have to move my sheep. The wool farm, the wool farm's over there. We're going to want the shepherds closer to the, closer to it. But anyways, my next project is going to be to completely remake the smiths and, um, um, Librarians, that's the word, Smiths and Librarians Hall. <clears throat> I shoved them all down. We, it was over there, but we tore it all out to make the farms, and we just sort of shoved all the villagers down here. Hi, some of you guys are loose. I wonder why you're loose. No idea. We just shoved them all down here. So that's going to be the first project that I will do, is going to be to remake the halls that I had. Um, you can kind of see the style of what I did part of it for. Actually, I should stop here so you can look at it. I should go in and give you a good look. We have the weaponsmiths. The armorers, which you can't really see their banners. Yeah, you can almost see the banner. And the toolsmiths back there. And we've got the decorations that I took down are in here. It was more the the librarian's place was more terracotta and all. So I think I'm going to do that in this hallway here. We've got plenty of space back here. So that's going to be the first project you're going to see on this series. I will show you when I say pretty and flyable tunnel. It's going to be more like this one over here that McLaurin and I did back last week. And if I get replay mod working on 1.15 here, I will do a thing of me actually flying down here and not dying. I bet you don't believe it, but I have actually flown down there without dying. I managed to even have three hearts left over. Yes, I did. <clears throat> so anyways, Welcome to Vanilla High, welcome to Karis Cavern, and we are going to have some fun. We'll get to see what I do when I'm not on Lifecraft. Until next time, peeps. Bye, and thank you for watching.